Holy Cross at Prayer for Sunday, May 31st, 2020, the Feast of Pentecost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. From Numbers chapter 11. So Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord. And he gathered seventy men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tent. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the seventy elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not continue doing it. God gives Moses a break in only the way that God can do such things. The people are full of complaints and grumblings, and Moses needs help. He simply cannot bear this burden anymore. It seems that the Israelites, like us at times, are really good at grumbling and complaining. God directs Moses to gather 70 men, and then God appoints them with the Spirit for the specific work he has in store for them. It is no different today. God hears our pleas for mercy and responds in the way that is best for us. Let us pray. Let your grace be upon Rosalie, O Lord, and teach her to hope in the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, on this day you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit to have a right understanding in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy consolation. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.